I've always wanted to do a Swiss road trip. So in September last year, me and one of my mates rented a camper van and decided to do a road trip from Appenzell to Tinchino. We really didn't plan out anything in between, we just knew we wanted to find some cool places to go. So here's what happened. The first place we stumbled upon was called Voralp. We arrived there late the night before, and on that first morning when we woke up, we decided to go check out the surroundings. We didn't know what to expect because the night before we literally just parked the camper in some random spot. So we walked down this little path and there was all this fog hanging around. It was kind of vibey, but as the sun got a little bit higher, the rays started to pierce through the trees, and there was this one particular tree that was just insane. So we hung around there for a while until the fog disappeared. When the fog cleared, we headed through the forest and down to the lake. There was this little cafe there and some spots for a barbecue, but we were pretty much the only people there. We spent the rest of the morning just chilling out in this little pier because the water didn't look too appealing to swim in, but the reflections of the surrounding mountains were insane. Later that day, we drove the camper over to the town of St. Ewan, which was like 10 minutes away. From there, we explored the nearby lake called Greflin Sea, and I actually really loved this spot. It's such a great place to go for a dip, and the reflection shot, once again, is insane from there. The following day, we were on the road again, heading down towards San Moritz. We made a pit stop at the Fuella Pass, which is a really cool spot. There are two lakes in the Fuella Pass, and the road goes right between them. It's pretty cool. We then continued down the road and turned off onto the Abula Pass, where there's a perfect stretch of road to skate down. After skating there for a bit, we drove on to find a spot to park for the night. This is me trying to figure out how to work a chair. Honestly, not sure what was going on here. There was a marathon on or something the next morning, so the road was actually closing for the day. We spent another little while skating down because it was a lot of fun, and then we headed down to the Lake of Stas in San Moritz. We actually weren't meant to take the camper up here, so we didn't spend that long here. After that, we just found a spot on the Jeweler Pass to have breakfast. I must say, it was one of the more scenic spots I've ever eaten breakfast. If you drive a little bit further on the Jeweler Pass, you'll get to this windy part of the road where, to be honest, it's just a disaster waiting to happen, but it looks sick on the drone. After this, somehow we ended up in the Lestalo Valley in Tinchino. Honestly, not sure how we got here, but the spot we parked at was a huge vibe. There was a waterfall that we could see from the campsite that we wanted to go check out in the morning, and it turns out this was a sick little hidden spot, like very unexpected. After that, we headed down to spend the day at Val Versasca, which is a super nice spot to go for a dip. It's pretty touristy now, but it's definitely still a spot worth visiting. On the last day we were in Longano and I decided to climb up a mountain called Monte Boglia. Up there there's an insane view of Lake Longano. There was actually a storm when I was hiking, but hiking in a storm is actually the best time to go hiking because when the storm passes, the conditions are always the best. I'd definitely check this place out if you're in the Longano area. <laughs> 